Well, is it on? I'm not saying anything because it's on, you idiot. Oh, God. I'm just kidding, guys. It's just me. I'm sitting here getting ready to go, knocking this thing out, procrastinating like crazy because it's just been a jam-packed week as a real estate professional here in Georgia. And uh, getting your, your, your groove on, right? Get back to that grind that we, we learned about in our last TED Talk earlier this week. And uh, that kind of instilled some of the discipline that, that was given to me when I was a young child growing up on a farm in Texas, constantly working. I'm taking that grind uh, through my military career as I learned to be a firearm instructor. And I think that's kind of where I found my calling at is uh, the discipline it takes to be proficient in your craft. You know, and Green talks about uh, returning to our origins and in, uh, in the stage one of our strategy. And I wouldn't say it's taking me back to the stage one of my childhood, but really stage one of becoming an instructor first in the military. Uh, teaching firearms and understanding people's need to know something new, diving into it head first, and then teaching them something and being completely proficient in it when you're done with them. It was a great sense of pride. And I realized that, that was probably my turning point, my calling. Um, you know, Green says that you must love the subject and feel a profound connection to it. And that's what I do when I when I when I get into something and just find this overwhelming urge to to master it and that's a lot of what we're kind of we're talking about right about right now is this mastery process and as we go on to stage two is occupying that perfect niche uh, niche um, it's I find that kind of wherever I go when it comes to the teaching for real estate when it comes to teaching for law enforcement uh, firearms especially uh, it's it, I just I love teaching and I, I find that taking the disciplines that I've learned through childhood, through the military, that, that, that structure, and applying that to what I teach, and the sense of humor, the understanding of the, the philosophies behind what you're teaching, not just teaching them a technique, but the why that you're doing it. And that's on both sides of the spectrum, from real estate and to firearms. And um, you know, I want them to, to learn the things that I did as mistakes, especially on the real estate side and not make the same mistakes, help build their business up so they can be successful from the get-go. And I find that sometimes my OCD can get in the way, I'm very OCD, but, uh, and quite the procrastinator, and I'm gonna fix that when we talk about it here in a little bit. But uh, Green also says, it's never a simple process to find such a niche. that requires patience and a particular strategy. And that's true. You really gotta understand what you're looking for in that patience, and I found that uh, through the military, a lot of hurry up and wait, but also uh, helping build strategies and ways to grow as a person and then taking that into the business perspective. And that kind of goes into fall, uh, number three is avoid the false path. And a lot of people in real estate get into the business because they wanna make money. They think oh, I can make all this money overnight, million dollar listings, I got it, it's easy. That's not that easy. And a lot of people get in the profession for the wrong reason. And even law enforcement, they get in the profession for the wrong reason. They don't understand all the responsibility the split second decisions you have to make, and a lot of those wind up in the news. And you're Monday morning quarterbacked every day. And so it's a very tough uh, career path. But um, I got into business of real estate because I got tired of veterans being taken advantage of, and I wanted to see something different uh, play out and not just people chasing money. So it's, it's important that we, we teach these new agents that uh, when you Google search a, a real estate agent is, it's all these derogatory comments. So how do we turn the tide? And that's through teaching them a different mindset, a different way to think, and, uh, and really come from the heart and a good place uh, of giving. Um, and it's uh, seizing the soul, right? Uh, and making them feel good, not just the wallet. And uh, let your sense of rebellion fill you with energy and purpose, Green says. And we get into, you know, let go of the, let go of the, uh, of the past. Um, I don't really dwell in the past. I focus on what we're gonna do in the future and, and what I did in my past to get help them get past it. Um, and I realized my calling was at Lackland when I first became a teacher. And uh, that's kind of where the turning point took off. And um, that takes us into finding our way back, uh, believing in yourself when no one else does, uh, stand out by doing the right thing when no one's looking. And the road to mastery requires patience, as Green says, and that's 100% true. So some of the things I want to take in the SMART goals are connecting with like-minded classmates to uh, get some outside-the-box perspectives on marketing and immediately stop procrastinating to get these videos done in time. Thanks.